Hi, the purpose of this new kit that we're after adding on to tvtrade.ie is to cover um, the issue that's going to arise with the analog switch off that which arises on the 24th of October 2012 um, for hotels that have head-end TV distribution systems. So basically what they're doing is they're picking a set, set number of satellite and Irish channels and distributing them to a large number of hotels. So they probably have all the infrastructure in place in terms of distribution amplifiers and everything will continue to work as before except for the four Irish channels where we have a problem now that it will be moving from analog to digital and it's going to require either a large upgrade of televisions or a, a lot less significant in terms of cost and hassle uh, upgrading of your head end system to be able to receive the new digital TV channels. So I'm just going to quickly go through how the system is currently set up and how it's, it will need to be set up uh, uh, to cater for the new server signals and the cost implications uh, in terms of how much equipment you'll need. Okay, so what physically outside your hotel will you have um, for the current system? Well, what you're going to have here is you'll have a satellite dish similar to this, okay, and it will have uh, either a four or an eight way output feeding, let's say, four to eight satellite boxes, each set to a different channel, such as BBC One, and BBC Two, etc. And then you have an aerial similar to this, which in this case is a UHF aerial. And it will be just picking up four uh, Irish analog channels, okay? So when these signals run inside, what happens is we're trying to combine all the different channels into a single cable which can then be distributed uh, sort of ad nauseum to a whole range of different, uh, a whole range of different rooms, okay? So um, we'll just concentrate on the satellite part, how that's been um, uh, wired currently, okay? What we have here is we have something like maybe a skybox here, which might be set with, say, for instance, the BBC One. But the signal from this will say you can output the picture from it either using a HDMI lead, a SCART lead, or in this case it has an RF lead which is brilliant, because this is exactly the format we wanted in. So we can output an RF lead here, and in that cable, if we have this box set to BBC One, it'll be set to BBC One on the way out. Now with the next box here, we might have this set -top, uh, satellite set-top box, free to box, and we might set this, with say, to BBC Two. But the problem we're going to face here is that this does not have, and we're currently facing this, that it doesn't have an RF uh, output on it. And how traditionally this is overcome is, you simply add on this box here, which is called a modulator. So what you would do is you would grab something like uh, this SCART lead here, take the output from this, feed it in here, and what you would have in, on the RF uh, in here, you'd have BBC One being fed from the first box just through uh, a cable would say similar to this RF cable here and then on the, this box here this modulator is picking up pick up from a, a box that's set to BBC2 so the output cable for, from here will have both BBC1 and BBC2 ready to be distributed to a whole range of televisions and what we do is we simply repeat this process again and again adding on additional satellite boxes okay uh, each set to a different channel. Now the disadvantage of it is over a period of time or over a period of boxes you're going to have a situation where interference will build up in it. So there's no definite hard rules on it. Uh, this is a very low cost way of doing it but it's probably the most popular way of doing it simply because of that. But you're probably faced with a, a, a traditional setup in hotels normally would have about eight satellite channels and about maybe four Irish channels. The problem we're facing now is because of the analog uh, switch off and the move over to digital. What, what we're going to have now is that um, simply running the four Irish cables in an RF format around the hotel will not work unless every ho uh, television in the hotel is serve you ready and can handle the MPEG-4 picture, okay? So this obviously would be a significant financial investment needed by hotels. So a much easier way of doing this is to keep your televisions exactly as they are and simply convert the new digital signal to an RF output, okay? So what we're going to do show here is if we had a cable, let's say, coming from this area outside and it came in here and it fed directly into this RF in here, okay? What we can now do is we can simply come along and we can convert this to an RF output simply by putting in this SCART lead here, running the cable over here to this modulator, pushing it in here, and what we'll do now is we will come along and we will take the output from this so we have a, a cable provider here that comes with a kit. So every time you buy um, a set-top box and a modulator, this cable will come with it, okay? So this cable on the way out will be set to R2E1. Now we come along, we have the next box in our loop, which we will set to R2E2. 
Once again, we have an input coming in here. We'll have a scan to lead output. And this box here will be set to RT2, get taking the signal from RT2. And what we'll do is we'll have this lead coming in here to the RF in, and we'll have a new cable we'll add on to this side here, which will simply loop out. And it, it, this cable here on the output simply had RT1. This one will have RT1 and RT2. And we repeat that process. So how many boxes can you do this with? Well, it varies a certain amount. These modulators are excellent because they avoid a lot of interference. Even the, the Skybox, by comparison, would give a lot more interference into their system. Uh, another thing about this is we can avoid interference very effectively with this because the UHF spectrum is, is goes from number 21 to channel 69. So we'd come along and we'd set the first um, set-top box here, or set the first modul modulator here to channel 21, and we'd keep two channel spaces uh, before the next channel, so put it at channel 23 and repeat this. But um, how many times can you, I would say probably without getting into serious interference problems, you could possibly do it 8 to 12 times, but a it, certain amount will depend on the length of the cable runs afterwards, because interference problems will become much more visible at the end of the line. But that's a reasonable ru ru rule of thumb, I would say. In terms then of feeding into the distribution system that you have after that, it's exactly as it was before. Um, you feature your distribution system, and if you have your traditional television there, and an RF lead like this coming off the wall, plugging into the back of the television, that remains exactly the same, okay? So hopefully anyway, you found uh, this overview here uh, re relatively clear about why the change is necessary and how you go about it. Simply make a decision on how many boxes you have. Uh, you'll certainly want to add, we'll say, four basic Irish channels onto the system. So RT1 and 2, TV3, TG Carb. Now, we made a decision here to add on the lowest cost, most basic um, uh, digital terrestrial boxes for two reasons. Number one, to keep the cost down. And number two, there's no point in going for the really high-end ones because the additional features such as the digital teletext and high definition, etc., that's only relevant if you actually have the box right next to the television, not for a head-end type setup. Another great feature of these particular boxes is that if the power goes off, when it comes back on, whatever channel you had the box set to, that is the channel that it'll come back up on. Okay, so along with this, we also have on the website, on the downloads tab, a schematic which will show you exactly how this should be wired. We're making the assumption with this kit that both the satellite end and also the TV area that's mounted outside, uh, they can all stay exactly as they are, and that generally will be the case. Uh, so you can simply focus on buying the modulators and things like this. Uh, with the thing. So for each additional box you, you buy, you'll get the, the box, the modulator, and also the connectors and scarities, etc. So you don't need to be worried about the little nicky knacks. You can know if you're buying this kit exactly what you need to come with it. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to uh, upgrade your uh, head, TV head end for the new Serview channels.